Nationwide, shoppers were out in force this weekend to snatch up those holiday deals. According to MasterCard spending polls, consumer spending was up 2.5% over last year. At the same time, the National Retail Federation says retail theft cost the industry more than $112 billion last year. NRF Vice President of Asset Protection and Retail Operations David Johnston says the level of theft is unprecedented. Criminal groups have become more brazen and open and violent in their tactics over time. 88% of our retailers reported that shoplifters overall are somewhat more or much more aggressive and violent compared to one year ago. Certainly, viral videos of thieves grabbing things off the shelves with impunity add to the perception that retail theft is on the rise. But according to the San Diego Police Department, theft was down nearly 15 percent last year. But that didn't stop SDPD from announcing it would increase patrol at shopping centers. University of San Diego economics professor Alan Jin says that's a bit of security theater. Yes, it is to make people uh, feel safer when, when they go shopping. Jin says compared to the first six months of 2019, a year before the pandemic, and the first six months of this year, retail theft is actually down. So I think what the numbers show is that uh, possibly uh, inventory loss is, is up uh, compared to 2020 uh, and 2021, but those are the pandemic years. So they were down considerably. He says what the industry is seeing could be attributed to a lack of security staffing at stores and the use of self-checkout counters rather than a rise in shoplifting. Alexander Nguyen, KPPS News.